You guys, social commentary is about to take a whole new turn. Yes, that's right. I've invited a few of my buddies, who I can count on, to really say it as it is. Nigerian men can almost die or slit their wrists before they pay. No, no, if he tells me beforehand. No, hold on. As in, unfiltered people we always whenever they want or whoever they want to whoever they want to on talk. Muslim men, they are trying. Do you know how hard it is dating just one woman? And uncensored-ish. I mean, it's Lagos. We all share souls. <laughs> <laughs> we know there are various conversations like, why can't your boyfriend just cook? Or like, do I really need to share my earnings with my partner? While I don't have the answers to those questions, a few of my friends are young Nigerians with hot takes and outlandish opinions involving social conversations that involve you and I think they do. So why don't you get plugged in to the very entertaining monologue debate show called Another Angle, showing Saturday only on Pop Central TV, the TV channel 189. There are usually two sides to a story. Or maybe three. Hey guys, welcome to another angle You're with your host, with the most, baby girl Tifa Hassan. How are you guys doing? Hope you're great. On today's episode of Another Angle, I'm just gonna shake things up a little bit. We're talking dating your friend's ex. I can hear the silence in the room because I mean, people don't like having this type of conversations because truly, it's not black and white. It's one of those conversations that it's not black or white. There's some gray areas around it. And today, we will be talking about those gray areas around dating your friend's ex. On today's episode, I've got four amazing guests with me in the studio. We have Ajibola Gray, who is a legal juggernaut, juggernaut himself. Hi, my name is Sajibola Gray. Um, Lego juggernaut, Lego Gaga, Lego Big B, you know. We have Toby Madge, who is a chef. Sweet boy, sweet boy, we make sweet food with. Hi, my name is Toby Madge, and I'm a chef and the project manager. And we also have Toyo Seademo, who owns the brand called Drip. My name is Toyo Seademo, I am a content creator, I am an unemployed Nigerian youth and I have a t-shirt brand called Drip. And of course, we have Okwemi Famakin, the biggest critic, biggest food critic, not just a critic, the biggest food critic in Nigeria. Hi, I'm Okwemi Famakin, the biggest food critic in Nigeria. Our four amazing guests are going to be giving us their opinion on dating your friend's ex. Are they for it, against it, where they stand on it? Don't go anywhere, kick back, relax, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Like I said earlier, we've got four amazing guests with us. We've got Toby Osi, we have Ajiba Lagre, we have Okwemi, and of course, we've got Toby Madge here to give their opinion on dating your friend's ex for it, against it. Let's get right into it. And of course, as per usual, I'll be showing you a couple of social media posts that, you know, are, have their, they have their own things to say about dating your friend's ex. Some of them are all, all like, nah, we don't do that here. And some people are like, it's not that big a deal. I mean, your friend's ex is just another person, like this one. show 
proper. So guys, what do you think about dating your friend's ex? What's your opinion on it? I think that's very messy. I think it's quite tricky. It's not bad, actually. Love is a very crazy feeling. And it's an ex for a reason. Ah, I wouldn't do it. Sleeping with them in private and letting no one know about it. It's not allowed, but... <laughs> you get what? Dating them. Yeah. It depends how long ago they were exes. If maybe... No, don't do it, don't do it. There are some clauses, there are some grey areas, but I would recommend you don't do it. To be honest, it's, I don't think it's that bad, but you know, a lot of people actually just think it's really terrible, but it's, it's tricky for me, it's not just, it's not a straightforward thing. If the friend is a close friend, if the friend is an acquaintance that thinks you are friends, go for it. But if it's your guy or your girl, don't, don't do it, no matter what. Don't do it. It's not, it's not bad actually. I, I, I would not take against it. You know, this life, something might not be for one person and it can be for the other person, so it is what it is. Okay, so like I said, these things are really not black and white sometimes. Like I said earlier, there's some, there might be some gray areas when it comes to dating your friend's ex. Toby thinks it's completely messy. Hmm. Toby, Toby, Toby. And Ajibola said it's an X for a reason, which to some extent I agree with. It's an X for a reason. But then that kind of also just circles back to Okwe saying that it's not black and white. There are, the, there are some gray areas in this thing. But well, moving on to my second question. Have you ever dated a friend's ex or been sexually involved with a friend's ex? No. No, I don't think I have. I think I have been sexually, but I've not dated my friend's ex. Not dated, but yeah. <laughs> my friends are crazy. They'll probably kill me. <laughs> no, but then it was, you know, it was something that, you know, I mean, I, I, I found out later that, I mean, I mean, they had dated in the past though, but we, we had like really good sexual relationship for <laughs> ah, It's a long story. <laughs> but not ex. Dating. It's Lagos, we all share souls. <laughs> Ajibola and Toby said they have been sexually involved with their friend's ex. Because according to them, it's, it's different. Like Okwe said, you can sleep with them, but don't date them, according to Okwe. So they said they've been sexually involved with an ex, but they've not actually dated an ex. Guys, quick story time. I'm just going to cut it short. I am actually almost married an ex's friend. Don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me, don't crucify me. Hello? 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 Don't crucify me. My first ever serious, serious relationship was actually my ex's friend. Ha! See, this is one, another angle I want to cast this thing. But you know, no, no, I shall endeavor not to let, let's talk about it later. Like, we'll story for another day, we'll, we'll deal with that one later. But like Toby also said, it's Lagos and we've all shared souls. So, you might want to put that into consideration. Anyways, my next question. Is it ever worth it, to be very honest? Do you think it's ever worth it? Considering the fact that if you date your friend's ex, whether you like it or not, the dynamic of that relationship is going to change. No, I think it just depends on the kind of relationship they had and the kind of relationship I have with the friend. Well, it depends on the person. Some people date for different reasons. Some people are just dating for dating sake. So if it's not, if I feel like their connection is not really genuine or strong, then I can go ahead. But I feel like, okay, they had a genuine or strong relationship and things didn't work out, then I stay clear. If you value the friends, even though you know the girl is good for you, for you I don't believe in soulmates, but even though, if you value the friendship and the friendship has been going on for long, just don't do it. That's it. Just don't do it. If you're somebody that she probably did not take seriously, then and I choose to take him seriously, why are you angry? You have to choose between love and friendship. Yeah, but people always say choose friendship, but then you know, love is a very crazy feeling. I promise you that. It's a crazy feeling. I would most likely, I'd most likely go ahead with it. Yeah. Again. You can sleep with them in secret. I will not do it, but if you must, that is better than dating them and rubbing it in your friend's face. If he broke a heart and then I'm dating him, I'm dating her rather, it's like that, that's when it becomes betrayal. But like I said, if she never took him seriously, then and I decide to take him seriously, she has no right to be angry or feel betrayed. <laughs> Thank you.
See, I mean, I'm just looking at Jivola's face, and there's just so much emotions in his face. He's speaking with so much emotions. I, why do I feel like I, I really want the backstory to these emotions? He has spoken with so much emotions when it comes to dating your friend's ex. He has had a lot to say, and we can see the emotions on his face. He said it's an ex for a reason, which I completely agree with. And sometimes you yeah, are always putting that bracket to choose between love and friendship. I think it's unfair, truthfully. But then there's always the conversation of, you know, betrayal and all of that stuff. Which leads me to my next question. Do you think that if after you break up with an ex or say your friend breaks up with someone, you go into a relationship with that person or sexually involved with that person, do you think that is because you, to some extent, have been checking that person out. Because these things don't go overnight. So if you are dating your friend's ex or dating an ex's friend, don't you think that to some extent, maybe small, tintily, you have been checking out the gowns, the eyes, the titties, the... You've just been, there's been some, there's been some overwhelming feeling that you've had to die down. How about that? Do you think so? Probably. Of course. I mean, we're human. We can all lie that we don't see things. But we see people, we see their attractiveness, we see their nose, their teeth, their eyes. And we see down there too, if you're smart. I shall wood your eye. <laughs> now, if my friend does it, that tells me that while I was dating, you were looking at my girlfriend with lustful eyes. You get, see, because, ah, kill like we kill like you. Now, from club dance, they start. You know, these things happen. I mean, it could be a one night stand, it could be, you know, it could, it could maybe, you know, we're intoxicated or something. It could come from, it could be so many reasons. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be there was an attraction. Doing a show that to cry on, a ain't to ride on. That's what you were doing. Okay, like they've said, chances are that there's some attraction prior to the breakup. But if you didn't work on that attraction, that's just to be fine. Nobody can justify you for you know for that. I mean, you're human in it. Well, like tell us, you say, I shall not do your eye before. I shall not do your eye before. If not, you're come, you come out eye. You're not going to look calm. That's just the truth. But yes, guys, uh, moving on. Have you ever hooked up a friend with an ex? Or have you ever been hooked up with a friend's ex? Like, has that ever happened before? Have I ever been hooked up with a friend's ex or hooked up with an ex up with a friend? I tried it one time, but it just didn't work out. They just, I don't know. I think after I did the hookup, they were not like, they felt some type of way about it, but. Nah, it didn't, it didn't work out. But have you guys ever done that before? Yes. I've done that a couple of times. For me, no, it would be messy. Like like I say, I don't like messiness. I like to view messiness, but I don't like to be in the center of it. So I'm like, no. For maybe one of my exes, yes, I'll feel some type of way. But the other one, I don't care. You need anybody you like. It should be a red flag for her that after I've done things with her, I'm now giving her to my friend to continue and like, if my ex said or okay, my female friend likes you, ah, I won't be worried to be honest. If I dated you and I'm giving you to my friend, genuinely, it means I do not value you or raise you. I have a problem. Once we're done, we're done. I don't, I don't go back to... I've done like a couple of times. I still did that recently. Oh my god, we have so many cheerful givers in this place. So Yossi has, Ajibola has, the only person is that Okwe. Okwe is just a selfish person. He's a greedy man. He's just a greedy man. Eh? Anyways, Okwe said that if he's doing that, that means he no reach you. Chances that he no reach you if he's hooking up, um, if he's hooking up his ex with a friend, is most likely because he no reach you. And I think that a lot of guys most likely think this way that, okay, I've probably slept with you, then I'm passing you on to my friends to sleep with you. I most likely don't reach you. I don't see it that way because feelings are weird stuff. Like, love and feelings and emotions, they're very, very crazy and tricky stuff. So, I personally don't see it that way, but I'm sure there are lots of people out there who are, who are of the school of stuff. If you are, comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Like, go ahead on Instagram, comment under this post. Do you think that if I'm hooking up my friend or my ex, it means that I probably don't rate the person. Or if you are hooking up a friend, an ex with a friend, it means you probably don't rate the person. But you know what? Let's get our guest conclusion. What do you think, in conclusion, about dating your friend's ex? To what? It's for it, against it. What's your thought about this? Hi, my name is Toya Seadeemo. I'm a content creator and I'm a t-shirt brand owner. If you want, you can. But just have the conversation with your friend first. Hi, my name is Toby Maj. I think dating a friend's ex is super messy. You shouldn't do it, but if the or the 
you know what I mean is good, then I mean you should try it, but don't they just just share souls. My name is Sajipola Gray and go ahead and do it. If you know if you guys like each other, go ahead and do it. Your friend would understand. If they are your friend, they would understand. Everybody understands at the end of the day. Hi, I'm Okoye Mifamakin. Do not date your friend's ex. But sleeping with them on the low is not a crime. <laughs> wrap guys this has been a very interesting conversation like i said i can go and shake things up a little bit but like i said earlier i also want to know your opinion when it comes to dating a friends that where do you stand twitter me comment on our instagram page at this is pop central on instagram and of course comment at dtpa underscore hassan i want to know where you stand on dating a friend sex are you for it against it or is it just like one of those oh my god there really is no there's no there's no black and white to this there are great areas even though you're just giving excuses even though it's just excuses i shall do your eye like so you said that's my new slang i shall do your eye <laughs> all right guys i have to go right now follow up on another angle we still have more conversations coming your way you know i'm always bringing up the conversations coming to shake things up a little i want to know what you think what people think i want to know what you know the world in general thinks about conversations and if you have any conversation in particular that you want me to talk about or bring to your tv screens twitter me at tifa lagos or at dtfa underscore hassan on instagram send me a dm let's get family you know how we do see you next time on another angle